Hello everyone. Today is part 8 of Hebrews 2.14, our study on the devil. Since we, the children, are all creatures of flesh and blood, Jesus took on flesh and blood, so that by dying he could destroy the one who held power over death, the devil. We always begin with this so we remind and remember what is going to happen to the devil. He will be destroyed. In the first part, we talked about his origin during creation, what he was doing at that time that the matter and the space was being created. Part two, we talk about his history and prophetic future. Part three, we talk about his appearance and some of the wonders in the sky that could possibly be signs of angels. Part four, we talk about the many names and roles of Satan. Part 5, we talk about him as an angel of light and how he deceives many, thinking he is an angel of light. Part 6, we talk about sincere followers of Satan, people that hate God and want to go against God and want to be Satans. Part 7, we talk about how people are captured through the media, the various medias. And part 8, we are talking about the danger of the devil head on. The devil is not the same age as you. He is much older than you. He is much craftier and smarter than you. Without the Holy Spirit, and without the word of God, I say. Without that, he is much more craftier than you. With just your human knowledge, he is more crafty. But, Ephesians 6, 11 through 12 says, Put on the full armor of God, such that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. I talk much more extensively on all the armors of God in 10 videos in verses a day, 136 through 145. I talk extensively on all the various pieces of the armor of God. So check that out if you get a chance to. Put on the full armor of God, such that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of, of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. We put on the full armor of God. We put on Christ's righteousness. We put on the sword of the spirit. We put on the belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness, which is Christ's righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the gospel, feet shod with the gospel of peace. And then we cloak ourselves with, with the prayer. We cover ourselves with prayer that we may be completely covered with the full armor of God and the shield of faith. We need all of these things. That is how we resist the devil and fight against the powers and principalities. I remember when I first got saved, I remember having a dream. I was doing well. I was doing well. The Lord was really helping me and leading and guiding me. And I had a dream that I was in this cave. And, uh, and in this cave, there's different bad guys or powers and principalities. And I was... I was fighting, I was fighting, and then I saw, I saw Satan, and I ran, I was like, oh, I'm going to get him, and I had the, the sword of the spirit, and I ran, and Satan went through a door, and I went in there, and when I opened that door, whew, he was huge, and dark, and scary, and I just froze, I just froze, he was so much more powerful than me, and you know what I had to do? Yeshua, Yeshua, and Jesus pulled me out of there, and he made me realize that in the end, this is his fight, this is his fight, I'm with him, I'm fighting with him, but he, <laughs> he will finish Satan with one of his angels. He don't even have to do it himself. But the devil is a dangerous foe. Not to be messed with, a crafty one. Not to be messed with. But when we have the sword, 
of the spirit and have on our armor of God, everything that he throws at us, we got. And if the Lord does have, if, the, if Satan does come at us and the Lord is in, in us, we got it. But what I'm trying to tell you is that be, be careful lest you stumble. Be careful him who thinks he stand lest he stumbles. Okay? As 1 John 3, 8 says, Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. That's why Yeshua Jesus came and appeared. He wasn't created, he appeared. Luke 10, 17 through 20 says, and this is, this is the Lord giving us instructions. Then the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And Jesus, he, he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Don't just sit there and rejoice on, on the power that you have over Sa Satan and his enemies. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Stay focused on Christ and what he wants. Be careful you who thinks he stand lest you stumble. Satan is very crafty. And then to talk about his age and how he's been around so long. From the beginning of mankind. Now the serpent was more crafty. Now the serpent is Satan. And I'll show you that in just a bit. Was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman. Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? That was when he said that a long time ago. Revelations 22. 20 verse 2 talks about the serpent and it talks about the ending and he sees the dragon that ancient serpent that won back in creation who is the devil and satan and bound him for a thousand years so let the lord and his angels finish him off and he will he already said he will and we, be, we end as we began. Hebrews 2.14 Since we, the children, are all creatures of flesh and blood, Jesus took on flesh and blood, so that by dying, he could destroy the one who held power over death, the devil. Remember, Jesus wins. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for winning. Thank you for destroying the power of death, Lord, and sin. And may many be saved. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.